Hi, welcome to the Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff the Gainsplainer, and today I'm Gainsplaining 5211 Azul. So if you have watched the Gainsplay, you'll have an idea of how the game actually plays. I'm going to have a, a playthrough set up for two players, left and right. Uh, so each player gets five cards to start with. There have been ten cards removed from the deck. The game continues until this deck is empty. So, the very first thing that happens is that each player looks at their hand and will play two cards and so this player is thinking they'll play those two cards they go face down until both players have chosen their cards this player thinks he will go for that so they go down and they go down so we currently have two of the purple and two of the brown they refill their hand up to five cards this player thinks he'll actually join in with the Browns and put down one of them. Um, this player is thinking that he'll join in with the purple and put down one of them. Once again, they get a card each to refill their hand. This player is thinking it's probably worthwhile just getting that yellow one out of his hand, so he'll play that one. And this player really likes the purple, so he's going to go after that one. So that's what we look like at the end of the round. They get a card each. Now what we have is there's three of the brown, there's four of the purple. Because limit's five, nothing's gone over limit, which means the purple has one. So each player takes their purple cards out, puts them in a face down score pile. The others go into a discard pile. And then we go again. So what this player is seeing is a lot of blue. What he might do, however, Let's just start with those two and see what happens. This player likes the idea of blue, so he's going to go after the points on that one. These then get flipped over. Blue is winning, but roosters could actually take it out. This player is going to play that one. This player likes the idea of that he has the ability to push the roosters over the line if necessary. So we'll see how we go with that one. They get a card each. Click the card over. Okay, so currently we're sitting at this four blue, but there's also four roosters, which means one more blue could be played, but the roosters will still have it. If one more rooster is played, then the roosters lose. So this player is going to... What is he going to do? He's going to hedge his bets, and he's going to play that card. This player really doesn't want to see the Roosters win. So he's going to play a Rooster, and he thinks he'll play that one. So they go over. So there are five Roosters now, which means we look at the blue, and there are five blue cards, which is the limit on blue, but they all get scored. So all of the blue cards come into the score piles. The other cards go into the discard. And we go again. Make sure you refill your hand. Uh, this player might go after yellow this time. This player might actually look at doing that as well. So they come over. So there's four yellow out at the moment. And one rooster. 
So what this player might do is play that one. What this player could do is uh, he might go with that one. So they get flipped over. There are now two roosters out. Back to the player on the left. Um, he doesn't think there's a high chance of it, but he will play that one just in case. Player on the right. Um, so if the player on the right plays a rooster, he shouldn't have information on that, and I'm trying to forget what's been played, but uh, looking at this hand, if he played a rooster and if this guy plays a rooster, the roosters will get it, which means two points per player. If he plays anything else, he would get four points, and the other player would also get four points. So it's actually quite equal um, on the number of points. So he might just put that down and see what happens. They both flip over, and yes, they're both roosters. So the four roosters become points, and the other cards become discarded. Okay, this player is going to go after those blue. This player is going to go after the green. Okay, it's looking pretty even so far. What he might do is throw that one down to up his blues. Um, this player can't do anything about the green, but maybe he'll be able to push the blues over so the greens play out. So there's four blues there at the moment. This player can't put anything more out, but just in case the green takes it, he'll put that down. And this player will either push the blues over or he'll get five points, so it's probably a worthwhile thing to do. And a new card. Flip them. So there are five of the blue, that's our limit. It hasn't gone over, so the blue goes into the score pile. And the others go up there. Okay, um, let's go one more round. So this guy's gonna play those two. And this guy will go for the browns. Flip those cards over. Come back to the guy on the left. He's going to put more into his pile. Uh, this guy can't do anything on the Browns, but he thinks he'll jump in on what the other guy's doing. Okay, and... This guy might just go for that and see how we go. The guy on the right can't do anything about that, so he'll just get rid of something that's low scoring. Um, it's worthwhile hanging on to a wrist cut, so he might actually throw that one in. And once again, one, two, three, four, five purple, they come in to this scoring pile. If this was the end of the game, I know it's not. I know there's a whole deck to go through. But if this was the end of the game, he'd be looking at 5, 8, 9, 14, 16, 17, 18, 22, 23, 25 points. And he would be looking at 3, 5, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 17, 21, 23, 26, 29 points. So at the moment, this player is the winner, but we're only about halfway through the game. I think that gives you an idea of how this game runs. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.